Now we know enough knockout to claim ourselves as an expert in our LinkedIn profile. Let's have a look in the code. This is the object we are using to bind to the UI, but that's not the how we get the object from database or in the server side. Rather, it comes as a simple object, something like this, a plain object, or sometimes as an string of JSON, and it has all this property like my body and uh, it will have other property like node.js and my buddy has to know javascript and their favorite library could be knockout backbone whatever and that's how we get it now how will i convert an object like this to an observable one one solution could be look through every single one and then make them observable this will work but if I add one extra property whether my friend is weird and which would be false uh, but you never know then it becomes a maintenance nightmare to add every single time there is a simple solution to this problem and the solution is uh, we go to the knockout JS website documentation is really nice here and they have a plugin called mapping plugin this plugin can convert any javascript object to a view model and this is only 8kv so we can get the latest version from here and if we copy the raw data uh, this is 2.4.1 version we will save it in our directory and it always good to keep track of the version you are using and we are saving now we will add it here and this has to go after knockout because this is dependent on knockout and this is the plugin so knockout mapping 2.4.1 we save it we go to the ui and reload the page go to the console and if we can see ko.mapping that's what we need to do and it has something called from js where you would be passing a javascript object and there is something called from json where you can pass a plain json string so to get the data we usually call an ajax or something from database here we will be use a function and the name of the function will be friend and every time we will call this guy this will do some ajax call and return us a friend and we will have the same friend we will set the alignment so that it becomes readable and it's exactly the property i needed name node.js and library the next fact is we have to convert this to an observable like this so we will create a function and we will keep it the same name or a different name we needed and previously this function we are passing a text name and we will be doing all this stuff now other than passing a name we will pass a object friend and we will do the magic here and the magic is we will create a variable called map and this will call the method we have seen mapping from js and we'll pass the friend object that's all we need to do to make every single property as an observable remember we have extra method here so we have to add this method to this guy so we will paste it here and we will add this one to map so this method would be added to map and if you remove the friend we will remove the friend from here and when we are done we will return the map who is calling this guy so map is nothing but a mapped friend and we will comment this guy because we don't need two function with the same name that makes javascript crazy and we have to do small stuff here other than previously we were passing the name we will be passed a brand new object from database that's we all need to do and we can get rid of extra to friend we had here before so we'll delete it and when you are adding a friend we were passing a text name now we will be passing a brand new object like the json object save it and go to the ui reload the page see the body here and you can add the friend you needed here friends are added from javascript object and which is very similar to getting the object from the database and if we do a quick review 
then that's how we are getting a plain JavaScript object from the server side and then we are converting to an observable object and we are using it every time we need it.